Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm good. 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 You lost better. Break my desk. Um, Ordering TG. No. Yeah. So how is how is everybody doing? We're good. No, he's doing fine. Well. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm kind of like in despair of the fact that Shinobi is a dumb character, but I don't know I'm fine. Shinobi is like broken right now. He's... I I feel the same about Orochi with the no. dodge bites because Orochi is terrible. Orochi is terrible. <laughs> like better, but like he's still like C tier character, B low B maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Shinobi is kinda... like. S tier actually, so yeah. yeah. But we're gonna show that today. He's got some a few one hundred O ganks and stuff like that. We found a few with or no, like Kyle and the others found a few today. With the what's it called? Shigoki. Like you can just infinitely chain hook. Here we go. All right. I already know what we're going to do. We're going to start from Raider to then do Orochi and then to Shinobi, keeping the spicy stuff for the end. Well, sounds yeah. great to me. I'm excited to see what you install. Hello. 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 Hey, guys. Hello. I even have the fucking notes, patch notes next to me. Oh, wow. You can like, uncrab brave. <laughs> Super um, we'll give it a few minutes and uh, we'll start. Uh, let me just grab the patch notes real quick. <coughs> so this is Sony posts on the server today. Shinobi has the highest amount of changes and it's very confusing to play him now. Very I'm confusing, really... but very powerful. I'm really yes. sad that Raider's not S tier. It's okay, he might he might just be S tier in one view. He might be A tier, how long? but no, he's how really long? obnoxious to fight. Free work is well deserved for how long we've been waiting for it. The yeah, thing... like, Shinobi, I, I, Shinobi is like, it's about their fucking time. I mean, well, yeah, but what I'm they did to Shinobi say... is... I'm not, not exactly normal. a fan of Ra the Radius rework. He just sped up everything and just made I it don't touch Radius. It's just gonna be extensive bopping on the head 24 7. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, still, it's still very predictable because, like, again, except for, you know, heavy into Gutbreak and heavy into Storming Tab, you can't really open up people. <laughs> I mean, you can. Like, it's yeah. PK level. It's a really good uh, soft lane. Yeah. Plus, it oh. it is you know enhanced. So even if they block it and make the right read, they have to parry it in order to stop your offense. Yeah, it, it's a good opener, but uh, it's not exact. But it, that kind of makes him a one-trick pony. I mean, he yeah. still has his unblockable. Like he has good. He's decent offense. Unblockable is really good. Yeah, already before, like you just have a normal unblockable into storming tap. That was a good offense. Now it becomes it's even better because you have 400 on your store tab. Plus, so, you, you know, your zone doesn't take any stamina anymore, so you can even use that. Yeah, the stamina change to his zone is fucking ridiculous, man. 12 stamina, I mean, come on, dude. I mean, I think <laughs> even Raider mains, uh, mains need to see that. That's a little much, maybe. That's I don't know, bit... I think it's good. Like, it I lets him keep good fine. offense. I like, like him. It's the same as a light attack, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's all right. I, I like a a mix up intensive kick, character. the animation of a Roti's kick is a bit <laughs> thrown out there. Janky. It's, it's a bit janky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not you're not it... supposed to see the recovery. You're supposed to follow it up with shit. Right, <laughs> man. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Silver, the animation yeah. of it. it are you on the game bad. or are you crafting? <laughs> okay, so I'll get Shinobi. on the game. Two seconds. Please, yes. Guys, guys, Shinobi. 
So uh, the, his uh, range. To... Genovia is so overpowered now. He's so overpowered now. Like he, he's he right. He's nearby. He gets a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed sickle right. rain. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I think, I think, um, I think the, ch the changing that after the wall splat thing, it's getting changed. Yeah, right. the but... Yes, that jump was annoying already. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah isn't the wall splat? I, I, no, I despise the changes even then. With, even without the wall splat, I just don't like any of the rework. I, I don't, I, I don't understand. You must hate light spam too. I, don't, uh, it's, it's, I, I think it's going to take time for to get used to it because yeah. it's pretty much a complete inverse of his, of his previous character. They have to, so it's going to feel absolutely fucking weird. Yeah, but because, even um, but even then they complete the they stuff? removed the range they not the range attack sorry they removed the dodge attacks the double dash attacks. No, they're still there. I think no, they're no, they're not. No, they're yes, not there they anymore. I I did them. Wait, no, are you referring to the neutral attacks after dodge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He double dash and then right. attack. Right, everyone, yeah, that, 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 shut that, 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 the fuck that, that, up. Why don't we get the quad dash? Sorry, so so they listen to Greg and or Normie and Silvux. These are the Dojo Sensei. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> you guys are supposed to talk, by the way, if you want to mute or like. Um, oh, I'm Okay, so we're gonna start with Raider. We're gonna go to Roach and we're gonna keep the spicy stuff at the end. Um, and by that I mean Shinobi, obviously. Okay, so Raider. Um, Almost, maybe even S tier in one v one at the moment. Uh, I would I would say A tier. He's really yeah. he's really he's a really good bash punish now. It's very good. He's got good offense, uh, very good neutral pressure, like unblockable is really good, especially with a little stamina it takes. Like I can spam this six times and then go out yes, of stamina. You can do this six times, and then the last fight puts you out of stamina. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so, uh, stun tap, 400 ms, almost unreactable. Wait, is it unreactable? I think it is. Actually. It is unreactable. I mean, no, it, it is reactable, but it's very, very hard to react yeah, to. It's... Even people like some of the most like known comp competitive players that are known for the reaction struggle with blocking this. Okay, so, uh, this one, 400 uh, ms with uh, 300 indicator, I think, or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, this one is still 500. Since it's a dodge attack, you don't want to have a dodge attack be super unreactable. Uh, yeah, it's a five to three engine. Yeah, it's uh, this is easy. That one's easy. Uh, sorry, block whatever. All right. What the fuck was that noise? Okay, uh, Spaniard, you're gonna be the one muting people if they do shit like that. So. Yep. Uh, okay. Um. Obviously, in chain zone also costs twelve stamina. So if I wanted to, I could just do this. For like a bunch of times, um, the mix of potential is really good with Raider right now. That's why he's so good in ones. So yeah, he can punish bashes, which is a big part of uh, fifteen damage being... bash punish is very yeah. very good as well. Uh, with being uh, good in ones, uh, punishing bashes. That the stampede charge five hundred ms really hard to dodge on reaction. Um, well, let me see. Go ahead. It's a small window. It's a, it's not like crashing charge where you have a pretty big window to dodge it. Um, so you might have uh, raiders running around just trying to stampede, and it's gonna be really annoying. Um, uh, can I can I comment on this real quick? Yeah, I had a weird interaction today during a Dominion match where the, the tracking seems to be off. Some, sometimes on a stampede charge, for example, I was going for a minion that was directly on me, and I targeted the minion way back in the minion, like, like the last minion I could find. I mean, it could be, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um, okay, his damage is the same from what I remember. Uh, oh, yeah, wait. Zone got buffed. Zone got yeah. buffed. Yeah, so, Stor now. Storming Tap also got nerfed. Uh, you still, I think it always did 15. No, now uh, it's 12. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was 12. Then it's yeah. the Dodge one. The Dodge one does yeah. 15 now. The dodge yeah, one does 15 work. now. Um, the why is, does it still deal stamina damage? Not it doesn't. So. Does it try to parry it? Then it is. I think he's a crashing charge, a storming charge house, or it's called again. This uh, one, he bonks, he, the one he bonks him in the head. A yeah. wall. It doesn't deal stamina damage. Oh, yeah, that, that at the end, that does, but that's just the. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah. yeah, but. Yeah, it still good. drains stamina. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but like that's, that's not his light attack. That's a, yeah. Um, all right. Um, 
everything is mostly the same. Uh, so no, no one big changes. There, there is a big change as well. Uh, there is a high... big. Sorry, I'm not, I shouldn't jump into this one. It's high. If you, you can if you try and interrupt his chain zone after a light tap, then you can do that next. When you try and do this, so I get you trade, which is a big difference from in in light. Previously, you would that would interrupt, yeah. and now you can get off a light hit stun or the tap. You could you trade with it, which is obviously massively in your favor because thirty eight damage. Even on block, uh, I think it's the same on block. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can yeah can uh, block can I ask something? Yeah. Uh, is it possible to feint the chain zone attack and period interruption? Uh, no. Never tried that. Well, it might be. No, it should be actually. Yeah. Yeah, if it hits at the same time as your chain zone would. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, it is. Um, all right. So, um, the bigger change to this character is uh, the guard break. Off of this, you used to either do stampede into what is it? Is this fifteen into twelve? Uh, or you could go for the zone, but there's also risk of getting parried. Uh, well, now you don't need to do that. If you don't have a one nearby or whatever, you can just zone. It's 24. It used to be 22. Little damage buff. But now... Uh, let me grab Ricky. Bonk. You can chain after it. Ish. So that's a chain starter now. Uh, neutral one is chain starter as well. Uh, one of the biggest changes to this character and... Uh, I'll explain what that means for the character afterwards. Uh, they really destroyed his hyper armor. So if you can see on him, uh, and I'll show it on me as well, the hyper armor starts really late now. It, it used starts to be, at faint timing. Yeah, it used After to be faint. the first heavy, or no, the second heavy used to get uh, hyper armor at, what, 200 MS? And then mm -hmm. the finisher at uh, 100? Zero. No, it's 100 and zero. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, basically instant. So you would almost never uh, hit him uh, out of an attack. Now, that's not the case anymore. Here, if he does a stun tap and I dodge attack it, I'm going to interrupt him. So go ahead. I'd, I mean, I feel like I have no health there. I'd ask, uh, do you think this is a good change? Or... No, no, not at all. I, okay. um, Why? I'll, explain, I'll explain now. Uh, so basically, what this means for the character, the character is way, way worse in 4v4. And 2v2, I guess, um, because of the hyper armor change. If they did the change that they did to him and kept his hyper armor the way he was, I would have said this is a solid character. This is a good character. Um, not anymore. Now he's just good in 1v1s. Uh, I mean, really good in 1v1s. And when it comes to 4s, he's obviously lacking quite a lot. He's not the worst character, obviously, but uh, not as good as he used to be. Um, what else is there to show? So the punishes on the wall are still the same. Uh, come come back a bit. You okay, still no. can get it. Oh yeah, wait, I threw too much because I'm a bot. And max distance, you get a top heavy. And it you you don't need heavy. to do max distance. Uh, ever since he, I don't remember which patch it was, but you can do like, you can also get heavies off of uh, Let me show. side throws. Oh. Are there any changes to his out of stamina punish? No, uh, no, the they're still well, the same. So you can get dodge tap into um, unblockable, which is more here. If you come over here, so in, yes, sort of. Um, previously, you were just light into. Oh, I'm bad. Chain um, zone. No max range. Yeah, that still works. Uh, out of stamina punish against the wall from back throw is still heavy into zone or heavy into heavy if you don't want to get guard broken. Uh, okay, I think my game crashed. <laughs> Yep. Great. Okay, <laughs> um, no. Great game. Get you beat. Uh, there's, there's another thing that I observed with, with this hyper armor in 1v1s. One for example, if you have like a dodge heavy, uh, dodge happy can say, or dodge happy griffin, it is storming tap, they dodge it early and do the dodge attack, you can no longer punish them with the follow up heavy. So uh, you can't, period. They don't have to do it early. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it worked like two out of four times, so it's it's very iffy. Maybe if uh, if you like, late, then yeah, it might be possible. But if you, you dodge have to, early, you have to dodge really late. Yeah, and if you dodge early with maybe like shaman dodge attack, you might be able to interrupt to uh, 
Uh, you know, I'm stupid. What am I saying? If you have a slow dodge attack, maybe Shaolin uh, and do a late dodge, you might trade. I don't even know though. I'll, I'd have to test that. You you have to dodge very late. Um, yeah, to and get uh, caught out by that. Yeah, like if you're yeah very late to to, to dodge to be able to to trade. Um, I mean that's pretty much rated. They didn't really change much about him. Uh, so we're probably gonna move on to Orochi. Simple. Sorry. Well, so we'll break him up again. Oh, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, can yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, but just better and warming one. Just words in four four. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely also got buffed uh, in the TG because of uh, the well, options like removal. So, can I can ask one thing. Um, yeah. Do, do you think Raider at this current state is overall better than those before? Or no. I think it's good also. No. If they if they uh, give him his hyper armor back, then he will be a good character. Yeah, actually, he... I do think he's better slightly just because of the option select change. Uh, because his unblockable of uh, offense is better now because the it can't just get option selected. So I the think he is better. The very flash thing. Very. Yeah. I mean, I mean the very flash is so hard to react to, especially is, with a 400 ms indicator. There is as well. less than five people that can consistently react to pyro flash. So don't worry, you're not gonna find any MM player that's gonna parry you on pyro flash. Sadly, I just met one of them. I doubt it. So oh, the guys I meet in Doom. No, so right, I did. Well, what is this person's name? Oh, uh, I don't exactly okay, remember. Yeah, no. Uh, I got another, another question considering these object selects. Do you guys think uh, there's gonna be like some like multiple heroes they'll they'll see something like a shadow buff due to that? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Every hero that has unblockable offense got buffed uh, more or less. Uh, a hero like Zerk got uh, more of a buff than others because his way of getting into unblockable is really really easy. It's really accessible compared to like can't say unblockable or some other whatever unblockable so zerg got a buff bp is now much better because his unblockable is better skewer is much better uh is better now because it cannot be option selected uh, um, so... do you think there's any characters because these option select changes have become over tuned now because of them mm, i mean that shouldn't make much difference now uh what characters we have that are overtuned in damage? We have this character, a Orochi, and uh, Shinobi, which we'll show later. I know they removed his uh, light finisher. Yes, they, they did. They're encouraging more to use the heavy finisher. Yeah, so you should let um, let these guys do the talking. Sorry. All right. So uh, changes about him. Uh, obviously, you now get a double light from every side, not just top, which is uh, sixteen damage. Stupid. Uh, you now get a confirmed light off a heavy as well, which is 28. I'm gonna kill him here. So you can already see why the damage is a bit overtuned. Um, Garbrick punish is 28 damage, which is a lot for Garbrick. Uh, most heroes get 24. Yep. Uh, so that's good. Uh, every dodge light, okay, every dodge attack. Uh, is now a heavy parry, so if I do a dodge light and he parries it, he cannot punish with a heavy. Yeah, this may or may not be staying in the game. Um, yeah, uh, this was not in the patch notes, so we are not sure about about it staying, but as of now, that's how it is. Yeah. Um, also, all dodge attacks uh, have a confirmed follow-up, so... Oh. Let it hit you. 19 damage dodge so, attack. Even this one... You, uh, that this one as well basically and, and storm rush. yeah and storm rush but that's gonna kill yeah every attack has a follow-up light basically which is four damage which is the reason why the character is overtuned if that four damage wasn't there for some of the attacks then it would be fine why though uh, because he just currently does 19 damage on a dodge attack i was like yeah that's the highest dodge attack punish in the game next to PK. Against a bash, this character destroys bash characters if you can react because of dealing insane amounts of damage. No, that move right there. Kick. Um, 300 ms into your dodge, you can kick. Confirms 13 damage light, which is a second light in chain, I think. Yes. Um, is this bash good? No. Uh, it's No, it's out of the bashes from neutral that we have. 
This uh, is probably the worst uh, due to animation. Animation is very reactable because it flies up whatever. Um, it's easy, really easy to react to. I think you can chain after you. Let me do it. Yeah, you, you can, can chain. chain into, into if you can leave it on whiff. Yeah, that's what I meant. You can also so, chain into unblockable. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, but so, if I'm not wrong, this is the bash that has the best range in the game, right? I'm pretty oh, sure. No, yeah. Shaman bash has better range. But... Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. Yeah. It does have insane range. It but, does have yeah. very good range, but that's um, pretty good for what we want. What I'm saying is that basically, if somebody knows it's coming, they're most likely going to dodge it. It's not uh, really hard to dodge. Um, I mean, yeah, if they can, if they are capable of reacting to that. Uh, uh, stop real quick. Um, all right. So, like I said, Garbrick punish used to be 24, now 28. Not that, not good. It's not okay. Um, Crow heavy. Hold on. You're bad. There you go. Deflect also is confirmed the uh, follow up light. So, yeah. Uh, heavy deflect has been removed from the game. So, that's not a thing anymore. Here, do a, do a top heavy. There is nothing. It just comes out as normal heavy. So, don't worry about that. Um, it was meant, I think, to interrupt hyper armor, but it doesn't interrupt hyper armor. So, uh, yeah. He now doesn't have an option to punish, like to trade with no. hyper armor follow up. He just trades. Uh, you can also do storm rush from front dodge now, which is you know one of you on a bad move, and I don't recommend using it at all. Um, but it is good for chasing. So if you need to chase someone, for forward dodge into uh, storm rush will be probably your best bet, like up there with dodge forward light. Because <clears throat> it goes a uh, crazy range. Um, I don't remember if you said it. Didn't they like make the dodge attack uh, uninterruptible on block? It enhanced, yes. Yeah. So unless unless they parry it, it's not going to bounce off, which is good. Uh, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, all right, next. You can now cancel recoveries with dodge. It's not the Andy tier. Uh, this is actually kind of a bad. Change in some cases because he used to his old recovery cancels were instant. I think it was a hundred ms or whatever they were. It was two hundred ms beforehand, uh, and it is. Yeah, a, they were basically instant, and now they're quite slow. Uh, I think you can do it after a zone. Uh, you, any wait, is there any attack? Uh, any yes. non dodge attack, and that, yeah, the dodge attacks include storm. So it's gonna be good in a team fight, but you can no longer do. Stuff like with uh, heavy into a insane deflect, you know, get your opponent ready, whatever. Uh, that's going to be much harder to do. And if your opponent falls for that, it's uh, kind of an L because it's really slow. But um, yeah, going to be good in team fights. Well, what else did he get? Oh yeah, his neutral side heavies. So if you probably know this, but his finisher top heavy has insane range. Uh, like it goes super far. Yeah. Uh, now his finisher and neutral side heavies have basically the same tracking. I'm not far enough, but they go really far. Oh, uh, they have so like they they've increased as well. They've increased uh, the range on those by quite a bit. Mm, is there anything different with punishes ever? I don't think so. No, everything's the same. Yeah, almost going to be the same for him. Um, you I mean, like, the only other real change is the fact that his dodge forward heavy is uh, it's 600 ms from every side. Oh, yeah. Uh, Storm Rush is now 600 from every side, which uh, used to be 600 from top, 500 from the right, and... Uh, uh, it, used be, it used to be 700 top, but the uh -huh. indicators were reduced further. So it was 500 sides, one of the sides, but the slower of the sides, I think the left side, is the same oh. speed, but the indicator is now uh, longer, and the indicators, and then the other ones, the indicator is longer as well as being uh, like just generally slower as well. Uh, yeah. uh, so this one is the uh, used to be the fastest, second, and then this one is the slowest, big uh, mid top, fuck, because it was undodgeable, but now they're all undodgeable, so uh, you can use what whichever, it shouldn't really matter. 
maybe not the top one because the animation is really big, so it's going to be easier to react to. Uh, other than that, yeah, the, uh, the his zone is still pretty bad. The only thing that changed about the zone is the recovery cancel. So, pretty eh move. Yeah, you're still getting guard broken if, if you use it in team fight and it doesn't, yeah. doesn't hit people around you. So, uh, that's a look. so, so what ways is like um, Obochi better now or worse now? So, oh, he's obviously better because. Because, uh, first of all, more damage with the follow-up lights. Really good mix-up potential, like he said. And uh, they've also... You can use this. This used to be a pretty hard thing to use uh, more than once. Because it costed... It cost it used to cost, like, what? Uh, 40? Something like 18 amount of stamina. And now they've changed it to uh, 12, 12 for the input and 12 for the faint or whatever the fuck the faint. Faint. So it's basically the same as a heavy attack it used to be twice as expensive as heavy attacks yeah it used to be uh, really hard to now you can use that as a mix-up as well she is better in every game mode uh not by a lot though this is by no means a comp viable character it's just decent character overall uh characters like uh the old uh, TG, the last TG, are still probably better than this one. So, so correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think this should be right. He's probably a lot better in Dom, like much, much better, like going up at least a tier two, just because of his bash lane him prevent people from being knocked down in Venge and also allowing for gangs to happen, even if they're bash gangs that feed Venge. Yeah, I mean, obviously he gained the most in uh, in Dom and for for game or whatever. And once he got obviously more bigs of potential, more damage. Um, but yeah, it's not a huge buff. It's a good buff. Probably could have given him a bit more, and nobody would have cared. So, yeah. so yeah. can I ask something? Yeah. Yep. The recovery cancels. You know, the one where he dodges after an attack. Yeah. It seems somewhat much slower than he is Zanhu's and Tiandi's. It is slower than Tiandi's. It's the same speed as Zanhu's. But yeah. um, I think part of the reason it feels much slower, not just because obviously it is, is slower, but also it's the animation delayed. is very much... Uh, he's got this kind of like, he stands still and then he dodges. And whereas Jan Hu has much more follow through before into the dodge cancels and doesn't feel as, as, as like stop starty. So I think, I think it feels slower than it is, but it is still not the fastest dodge cancel. Tiandi, on the other hand, has like 200 mess dodge cancels and so... You're, you're not, um, it is significantly faster. And that's I, what he used to be. Uh, I mean, I think it's basically the... TND basically can dodge almost instantaneously recovery cancel. I mean, it's 200. But 200 uh, Rochi and Zanhus takes a bit more time before you can dodge out. It's 200 versus 333. So I think the reason they did that is because of uh, if it could happen 100 MS out of the dodge, I think this could possibly... Like unblockable could be yeah. possible. If it was so, the heavy finishers I'll do a little bit of ma quick maths here. But the heavy finishers have heavy hits done, and that prevents you from dodging from 900 milliseconds plus an extra 166 milliseconds for your um, iframes to start. And the bash hits. If it was a 200 ms dodge recovery, then uh, to cancel, then you'd have 200 ms of dot recovery cancel, then 300 ms the dodge, 500 ms bash. Basically, means the bash is hitting. 1000 ms after your heavy finisher lands which means if it was 200 ms recovery cancel it would be guaranteed so that is the re part of the reason why they've reduced it they've also meant that you don't no longer get frame advantage on let's say if you were to um if i mean the next time if you go like light light into four dodge lights and then into another light light etc i mean you can't you don't have a light finisher now but you can still recovery cancel used to be able to recovery cancel after your light finishes and go into a four dodge light and you would have like permanent frame advantage and now i think that is re removed so you can you can do a quick test of that now okay. let me hear oh oh so, you want me to light yeah yeah so if you if you light him after like yeah um four dodge yeah light light and then four dodge light and then there we go yeah you need to, you need to do the buff of the light as soon as you get hit basically yeah. silver i am doing that yeah and it works Oh, okay, there we, there we go. Yeah, I mean, but it's not... You You hit him with the four... Uh, so, sorry, you permanent frame advantage on, like, the four dodge light into the 
it didn't look like to me that you were doing the forward was... flight into light. He no, should, he, yeah, he... I think what he meant, Norman. I mean, they just spam light after I hit you with my first light. Yeah, that's what I see. Well, I can see yeah. the changes are in a step in the right direction, but it still needs a bit more. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not so, trying to look. So, like, what would you say of Wuchi's like, identity now compared to before? Um... Uh... Pretty much the same, to be honest. He just he has a bash. Right. He, is, he is hitting you. It's like, like if Silver is going um, light, light, and then into the dodge, the dodge, uh, four dodge, then the four dodge hits you before your light opener does normally. So, if... yeah, but, yeah. This is more like a band aid than actually, actually like putting the cast on and letting the the actual damage heal. In terms oh. of you know Rochi like being viable and Dominion and team. I'd be. I definitely think he's more viable. I, I'd say he is viable, not like on a comp level, but in matchmaking, you can definitely stomp everyone with this. He's if playable. You're, he's very if playable. If you're now. good enough. Uh, the, his bash is, yeah, it's a bit too, it's gonna, too flashy. It's too flashy. It's going to hit people that can't react consistently. Yeah, like If you're playing MM, it's not going to struggle. But if you fight players who are decent at the game, they're just going to be able to react to it. Yeah, it's uh even even for those players, it does catch off guard every now and then. But obviously, yeah. you can't use it as a consistent offense. I know there's a thing I just uh, figured out. If you like try to in combo dodge forward or anything, you could do the rip the how to say it. Um, yeah, the thing is that is quite a distinct animation. So if the person is waiting long enough, if they can react to, and it's like normally and normally has good reactions, and he's not. It's like the first day, so he's not really had much chance to practice. But I bet within like a few minutes, he'll be reacting to the storm rush and dodging the the bash if, if he was doing. It. Yeah, well, storm, storm rush has quite a distinct reactive. start of animation, so you're just not gonna bait people with it as nearly as much. So, I mean, well, I mean, he's, he's, he's terrible he's job new right. right now, so you might as well uh, try that until it's right. pointless. Well, I I'm I think they wanted to. Give him like sort of 50 50 with the bash and the undodgeable forward dodge attacks. But yeah, the fact that this kick is so it's has such a distinct animation, I don't think it's gonna it, it, it's it's gonna be an easy tell for like three days in or something. Yeah, for the gamers who can react to farm and MS bashes and um, farmers animations, then it's not it's not unreactable for the uh, for the rest of us. You are having a mix up between the four dodge and dodgeballs. And the forward dodge bash. You can also do forward dodge light. Uh, yes. like a D especially right now, since it's a heavy parry, you don't really risk too much. Like you just mix up between that. This is a bit of a tangential question, but like, um, do you think we should be able to react to 500 uh, MS bashes, or do you think they should be like 400 MS? That's, like how light and how that's uh... probably not. No, probably that's, probably right that's a tricky it's question. A, it's an interesting topic. Uh... And it kind of comes down to every player. Like for if me, you can't react to them. Thinks that no one should react to them. Yeah, the people. And everyone, everyone who can react to them wants to stay good. Yeah, for if for me, if it was up to me, I'd say uh, keep them as they are now because obviously there's only like there's less than like thirty people who can consistently react to bashes like that. So I'd be I'd be like I'd have an advantage uh, over everyone else. So yeah, if it was up to me, I'll keep them the way they are. But if I couldn't react, I'd say that. Uh, they should all be unreactable for everyone. But I don't think we're going to see that. Definitely not anytime soon. I mean, soon. we have Ubisoft thinking that 500 MS bashes for interim into the dodgers are unreactable for everyone. Yeah. Which so, is yeah. not the case. I guess they're I, rounding up 99.99% to yeah. 100%. Um, like, so we got a question from Kramwa, which I'm thinking is... So so currently, because um, he, he's saying about you can dodge cancel the kick into the light and then do a kick into another light. Um, but I think that has, doesn't have PvE frame advantage, so you can light interrupt and you'll interrupt his kick. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, very much you can counter it's not this a permanent, fight. It's not a permanent uh, auto-ex, because, yeah, if after the bash you have frame advantage and you can interrupt his... Um, no, you should do. Exactly. And as a Rochi, of course, you can do the, what's it called, dodge for light, which then counter counters that if they try to spam light. Yeah. So I think, that's, again, part of the reasons why they're keeping the dodge cancel uh, slower, because otherwise oh, you have permanent frame advantage into that into that light um, it, with that bash. So you, you can interrupt the bash, but uh, 
You gotta look out for the dodge for light. It, yeah. uh, they can interrupt you with that. It becomes a read. Then yeah. But I think that's right. If it was a 200 ms link, then the bash would per would have permanent frame advantage, and you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that. that's the same thing for like 100 ms and all that, or yeah. whatever it was before. Plus, you know, it confirming itself and all that. So I think with, so we're talking about like this character being, uh, you know, still not viable in four v fours, which is true. But he does have a lot. He is he is greatly improved in four v fours. Just not just the option selects making his unblockable actually threatening externally, but uh, his, you know, ha he's got very quick. He's got very quick peel with his foot. Well, his four dodge light is a decent peel to start off with. Storm rush is quite quite good, but I think it's mostly the range of his kick is super long range. It's basically like. You know, glad light, glad dodge light levels of range, but right. on a bash, so you can, can heal against them. Yeah. yeah, you can. You I mean, can you do can, it. It's definitely a really, really good bash for if you know you're a low HP or you're coming into a fight. You can just very quickly kick someone. Like if they're in a gang situation or whatever, you can come off screen, and then you can do it. I don't know how it's just I mean, still, with, just, with its good range, like, if someone tries to yeah. whiff and purpose, you can easily interrupt oh, them with it. Stupid. Just don't move. Let me look at that. Yeah, I can see basically the entire, almost the entire. Wait, can you stay, stay at the, stay at the edge? <laughs> Gotta be stupid. I mean, it's not far off that. Direction. That is pretty far, actually. Yeah, go all the way back. Go all the way back. You can do it if you're in the, if you're right in the corner. You can do it from the middle. From there, he should be able to hit me. Oh yeah, yeah. You go ahead. No, ah, just barely. Just, just yeah, just I think you didn't delay it quite long enough. There you go. There go. So yeah, so insane range. So yeah, it's got very long range. Plus you can well, off of Orochi it. still does not have throw distance. No, he has zero. He has negative throw distance still. So that, that is not changed. May I put his throw distance into his bash, clearly. <laughs> he's really good at moving himself, just not anybody else. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's an Akak. Is he's oh, a my bitch. lord. Nova King? Uh -huh. I'm great, I know. I'm so good. Storm Rush video. is also a lot of. Another benefit is Storm Rush is kind of usable now, and it's also technically a pin. Oh. Um, so people can. You can confirm an ally heavy off a, off a, off a landed Storm Rush. Um, and in, in theory, you can now. Oh. There's, probably, there's probably a few like infinite ganks with, with uh, Orochi as well, where you. I mean, I'm not sure we've lapped them out yet, but things like. Storm rush confirming it in like a double light into a heavy that it confirms a storm rush. Yeah, there is stuff like that. There that, is... that will exist, but I mean, it'll have damage reduction, so it won't be crazy, crazy powerful. All right, uh, move on to the character. The How character, can I make most hated character? Uh, oh dear, he, his changes are very a lot, very a lot. Yeah. I agree. Can I make it? And joke? I love every oh, single one. Has make Hashimoto a dumb joke. the most changes of any character in a rework? Or... No, I mean, the old reworks that they used to do, like Season 5 and stuff, yeah, was actually remaking. He, they're actually you know, remaking like, the whole hero. And I feel like, overall, he probably has had the biggest the biggest number of changes. But uh, yeah. I mean... I meant Shigoki, was... probably. Yeah, Shigoki, yeah, Shigoki, right. got, Shigoki got completely changed other than Demon Ball. Like he's, he, yeah. he got he got changed like back in season one with all the removal. Yeah, well, yeah. So stuff, his then... season nine rework was like yeah, a giant season, change, yeah. That that as well, like his old stuff. All right. So, uh, let's start with the move set of this. Okay. Pretty so first of all, uh, we'll start with this. Yeah, running bash, no longer a slide. Uh, confirms a heavy, but you have to lock on for it. So if you sit still, fifteen damage. Whatever, good to start a fight. Whatever. It says it's, it's a light. But it's a uh, it counts as heavy. You can't execute. With yeah. Uh, so here, if I get your low. Oh yeah. yeah sorry. That should be enough. And I do this. I can execute. So yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, kind of sad to see the slide animation go, but it is what it is. Um. I mean, I'm happy with it. The slide had no recovery. Yeah. It was also too slow. Um, I mean, this isn't a fast. This isn't super fast. This is five hundred. It's five hundred, and I think it has a bigger. Yeah. Oh, it's good, but... It tracks better. It's much better than the previous one. 
Yeah, it's very reactable. Also because of the animation. Yeah, he like lifts his leg up in the air. Plus it doesn't track at all. Yeah, it's yeah. very low range. It's not like Raider where it tracks dodges. Yeah, Raider's it's, one is it's, weird right it's now. It's decent in, the, in the, getting into a, a gank or a fight, team fight. You don't want to get in. You want to start off a gank with a bash that you can not confirm anything, just feeding revenge. Revenge feed. Yeah. Right, so. If they're not targeted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to quickly discuss something that's really, really dumb. Look at my uh, stamina while I'm double dodging here. Cause nothing. Double yeah. dodge cuts nothing. Uh, first of all, double dodge should not be in the game. That's one thing. Uh, there's no reason to have a character have something like this uh, when it can it can dodge level 1 and level 3 word and bash and level 1 level 3 warmonger or dent, whatever. That stuff shouldn't be a thing. Um, well, I mean, things like uh, dodge into seafood will do that. So I don't think it's that bad. It just has no summon across. So. so there's a lot of things that do that already. Okay. Yeah, but with uh, with stuff like hidden stamps and Sifu, it's it works different. It's uh, much more vulnerable than this because you can do this, and this puts you out of range of guard breaks, which is yeah. what would counter. Like if we're and, we're, uh, if we're in this and we're up here, then I'll just do that. I'm out of range. Yeah. He can't do shit about me anymore. If he's a warden, Shinobi is the character that says, "I don't want to fight you anymore." So I just uh, side dodge bash. I just do that. Yeah, no, do I don't side fight dodge you anymore. to side dodge into back dodge. You create enough distance to not be fainted into GB and. Uh, yeah, that's why that's why yep. this shit shouldn't be in the game. I guess it'd be a bit better if they remove the ability to do back dodge from that. But to be honest, this should just be removed. Here. So, so obviously, obviously, yeah, he's been changed a lot. But like the double dodge and it's kind of part of his dente, he's, he's an angel smoke bomb thing. Uh, like, do you have any ideas? How, what, what would you replace it with so that you can keep sort of the um, the high mobility identity, but removing the problematic aspect? Uh, of the dodge? Characters like Shinobi should not exist. There's no uh, reason we should have range characters or high mobility characters in the game. There, yeah, there, there uh, shouldn't yeah. be a character in the game that just tells you, I don't want to fight you anymore, so I just do this. Funnily enough, um, after his changes, he went. So he doesn't have the... range attacks anymore. No, I don't get the complaint. No, he has one. So, um, but he has to do something beforehand. You have to melee to get to it. <sighs> okay. Um, character feels clunky. Uh, go play yourself after this, whatever. It feels pretty fucking clunky. He doesn't have the mobility that he used to. Yeah, there's double dodges, whatever. His moves, which we're going to go over here in a second, are they feel really clunky, um, which we should talk about. All right, so um, double light. No longer a chain finisher, the uh, follow-up light, you can now chain after it. Uh, chain finisher is heavy is uh, sickle rain. Top sickle rain is unblockable. Side ones are undodgeable, uh, and this is going to be really useful here in a second. Um, top one is going to be the best for mixing up and the best for ganking, while undodgeable is undodgeable. <clears throat> um, they nerf the sickle rain by... Two damage or three, three I think. Three damage. Three damage. Uh -huh. um, and four damage, technically. But... The reason it's stupid, uh, no, it's three. Uh, oh, no. No, so show, it let, me, let me show. Let me show. Into... Stop, shut yeah. up. No, 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 no. You fucking T. Bot. I hate you. 35 so, damage, yeah. guard break punish. Uh, uh, if you like PK guard break punish with 38 damage, well, this is pretty much that. Um, absolutely stupid. Uh, that's one thing. All right, um, let's get to the kick. So, kick like this, still still very the same move. Now you can do it after one dodge, which is a bit based. Uh, it's the same thing, just one time into dodge. The mix up here is you can do level one or level two, this being level one. And here, if he pre-dodges my kick, I can do double dodge into it and it catches. Uh, that is the mix up. Uh, the dodging into guard break might work, not really viable because uh, 300 ms into the dodge. So, um, pretty sure you can roll it. Um, and if you, if you dodge on one and back roll on the other one, you can't. Be yeah, you can probably do that, but why would you do that? Is, I heard someone had a question. Is the dodge bash 500 or 600 ms? Uh, oh, 500. 500 side okay. of six. Is it the six in this video? Nope. It's still six. That's Unlucky. Okay. Right, so, uh, yeah, dodge forward 500, uh, or after back dodge also 500. Uh, you cannot do it after one back dodge. 
confirms a attack which is now a bash. So obviously used to be a range heavy. Now it's a bash, which is a bit stupid, but um doesn't look like a bash though. Yeah, I mean it's just a heavy and it looks like a bash. Obviously, uh, here if he does it on me, you can see it has no indicator, he only has the unblockable thing. And there is that, which is um pretty stupid. I'm pretty sure that is it not intended. Your um your range heavy can was flat, so if he stays there. It reminds me of sense cutscene, the old one. All of that is confirmed. So that's 55, I think, or something like that. No, 49, yeah. Still um, very, very dumb. Yeah. Um, that can be in the game. There must be a bug. Yeah, it is. Bug. It is a bug. It's because they, they made it a bash, and then they didn't take account for the fact that some bashes, or melees, or whatever they call them, wall splat. I heard on right. Twitter they did say it's unintentional, and they won't be yeah. in the game. So, um, the reason this is like, yeah, that's obviously broken, but there is also other things off of a heavy parry. I think if, unless you pre-dodge the kick, I think it's confirmed, mm. right? Is that it? The kick uh, no, 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 let me show you here. So if you, if you throw heavy at me, oh, that was the wrong button. Sorry. I'm actually retarded. Okay. Let's go again. Oh, there is that as well. That's confirmed unless you pre-dodge. You have to make a read there. Okay. Okay. And then so I yeah, catch you. If with I that. made the read, I get caught with that 35 damage. Now, yeah. on the other hand, your heavy punish now is also uh, heavy prey punish. What, 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 what was it? Just 49, right? Yeah. 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 If yeah. The kick, yeah. If the kick because, hits, then yeah, it is. But it's, uh, it's not guaranteed it, the kick. It is guaranteed. Isn't it? Are nope. you sure? Nope. It, you can dodge it. I don't know, man. Oh, you mean, oh, sorry. If you, uh, I'm pretty sure you can dodge that. But you can... No, I'm spamming dodge. You cannot dodge it, it's confirmed. Okay, well, I... So, yeah, I've sent this to Freeze. Uh, this is confirmed. So if you have a wall nearby, you get a 49 damage uh, heavy parry punish, which is absolutely insane. Holy shit, this is literally year one cent. <laughs> well, that's really powerful. I think yeah. that might even be... Yeah, I think that's uh, even the punish on light parry, as long as the wall is around. So you can get a forty nine off of any parry as long as there as long as there is a wall behind them. So that's stupid and obviously gonna be out when the heavy one was bad anymore. Um the teleport kick off a of parry was my main worry. I thought it would be too strong too, just looking at it. So it won't be afterwards because obviously this is just fourteen. So uh and this is sixteen. Which is the actual punish? So yeah, it'd so be off fun. of kick you would actually. Oh, wait, let me show you again. So off of a kick you'd actually just do this. Yeah, if you want more damage, but obviously the wall splat is like uh, less cool potential though. Yeah. Plus, I believe this one is blockable if you are a static guard hero who had their guard on the side already. Also, this is probably useful in team fights. So obviously, it keeps you a little bit of distance, so you can. And tackle swap and dodge um, or someone else. And like plus, that. you another thing you can is after a kick you can back dodge. So right, that's so, also like makes that also makes you safe in team fights. Uh, now, back roll or I mean backflip chains into roll. Uh, I think does roll chain into backflip? No, but I mean, it does this. Yeah. Okay. Oh so yeah. Look at my look. If you yeah, just let me do that a few times, just let me do that a few times. Look at his stamina bar. That's that's stupid. Look at his stamina bar. Just, yeah. just... It counts as a dodge, and your stamina recovers during it. Weirdly, your stamina does not recover during a double dodge. But it does recover during these things. So here, if you do the punish as well. That can't be right. One flippy boy. So yeah, you can do this forever if somebody's unaware or like they're not like so you can probably do it now so while the people are not uh, you're gonna, be, you're gonna be an annoying little bitch and just kick everybody. And not attack ever. If somebody does that, you can interrupt them with a light attack, but ah. Yeah. Yeah, but but if you're somebody that doesn't know how to deal with that, they if yeah, you want to abuse it, that, abuse it, abuse it to NTG because when it drops, people are going to learn about it. Right. Um, so, yeah, we showed Sikori, we showed that. Is there. Um, oh, yeah. His out yeah. of stamina punishes are pretty bad. Uh, there is an interesting one which we're going to show. But um, here, go out of stam. For an out of stam parry, it's like 32 or something. It's light into heavy. Yeah. yeah, it's a small punish. You can't do more than that. But mm -hmm. if there is a wall and he goes out of stamina, so go ahead. 
Okay, I'm bad. I can light, buffer, double dodge into kick. And uh, obviously, if there's a wall there, I get the wall splat. I get 49. So it's uh, 49 plus 12. Plus 14, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's okay. pretty broken character right now. Uh, the heavy after kick, so the the melee, whatever, that one is target. You can target switch it. So in a team fight, you can have a super long range bash, which was plats. So that is pretty stupid. Yeah, um, genuinely a bash. Well, it's not stuff like um, it, you know Conqueror's um, full block punish where you can it's unblockable, but you can get parried by an auto parry. This is a genuine bash. It cannot be. It cannot be. Not, you don't get knocked down with revenge pops. It doesn't. It will hit through an auto parry window and do direct damage. Um, it's like it's not a unblockable attack, unblockable, so, unparable. Wait, it's wait, a it, legit bash. It, it it does direct damage. It doesn't even hit the shield. Or... I think you can uh, flip it with BP. If that what you mean? Yeah, you can flip it with BP. Probably. It, yeah. but, I, have, um... I, have, I have to ask. Why do you think they made it a bash but not an unblockable? Um... Probably because they want to make it a. Like I think they wanted to make it so ranged attacks no longer like knock you down whenever you get you can, so you no longer can parry them. I think they wanted to remove that from the game, yeah. which is still dumb. Like you should not have a, a ranged character in a game like For Honor, even if it is after like a confirmed thing here. Like if it's only after that or after I do what's it called backflip, because I think you can also do it after. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was what I wanted to remind. Uh, so, would you advocate for basically just the move of the heavy, heavy, heavy from all moves? Uh, to remove, wait, to remove what? Sorry, uh, I'm saying, would you advocate for like the com the complete removal of the range heavies, no matter how yes. you access it? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. If anything, Please. they should have just made like at that point, you could have just made the kick to damage, like honestly. Yeah, like, like it's just make it, it make it uh make it like a here do a heavy. Make it like this. Make it a repost or something that doesn't have an indicator. Isn't a like something guaranteed after it. So can I, can I, so turn turn the character into like a, a kicking bash character basically. Yeah, but I we, mean, we just wanna... just turn him into something else. Like I don't I don't the idea of a character Sounds that's bad. all about mobility in the game. This is looks like more intense than I thought. Like they go at it, and that's a lot of energy you're letting off for. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about it. Don't do that. You really were. You were okay. in bad shape. All right, all right. Uh, uh, let, let the coaches talk, okay? Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, I think that's for it for the move set. Uh, punishes or whatever. Uh, what's throw? I think it's still light and heavy. Yeah. Um, doesn't have great punishes. Kind of happy that he doesn't. I don't want. Like the character is super overtuned in damage right now, uh, as he was for the longest time. So it's not really something new. But um, I, we're hoping it'll be fine soon. TM. She was taking her root six pointing, you know, to that side. Sorry. So can I can, can yeah. I also just just point something out that I that I noticed. Yeah. Guard break into second rain. You're gonna be out of that fight longer than a lot of the rings movie. Like when you get oh. guard broken and 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 she know sickle rains on you, like your teammates have a lot of time to just throw heavies at you. Yeah, uh, you you can only you can only read one heavy. Uh, you can do two by hitting a heavy before the sickle ring hits. So your teammate hits a heavy now, then mine lands, and then he fits another at the end. So that's like ninety damage over uh, like ish. Uh, depending on how much uh, damage the hero does. So it has crazy gank potential because of the way it is. You should, under no circumstances, be able to get it from a guard break. Uh, because of the damage, uh, that's one thing, and definitely not without a throw. Like, obviously, the only character that has a, a pin like that is Scent, which is off a throw. If you do a normal heavy, it won't pin. So I think if they do that, that'll be fine. You get a wolf splat, obviously, Four wolves path and get a get more damage, but um, yeah, guard break heavy should be just a normal opener heavy. Yeah, it's also some of a disadvantage in in scenarios where you can be peeled. Like the the recovery of landing a sickle rain 
is quite significant. Even if you don't do the like the light stacks afterwards, you're still in that like pulling down animation, even if you don't want to be. And that takes about I think it was about 800 milliseconds or something like that. I, I recorded oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, it. I guess we can, show you the, uh, we can show the last thing. His uh, kick is no longer confirmed on Deflect, from what I remember. Yeah, yeah, so like now Gary, you yeah. have to input uh, Garbeck to do the to do the defect, um, and the mix-up is... Wait, is it? Hold on here, throw heavy. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, so the mix-up is now sickle rain or kick. Kick is just normal kick, confirms the range heavy, so if you do it here, you can dodge it. If you get hit, is confirmed the... Uh, this thing, which obviously can lead to a worse plot, but uh, yeah. Uh, and if he dodges, I can catch him with a, one of the undodgeable uh, sick rains. Oh, I'm Shinobi, of course. Yeah, because he can. Uh, here, I'll show it. So I can pre dodge the kick uh, and deflect the attacks, uh, the undodgeable. So here, uh... oh, I didn't pre dodge because I'm bad. I can dodge that. I don't know how to input the kick. It's just heavy. What, yeah, the... heavy. You, you go yeah. break into heavy. Okay, okay. As you can see there. So, yeah. You still uh, do the confirm light thing after the deflect. No, that, those are the only two punishes. They're uh, mounted. Yes. Why do the deflect then? Because it's a mix up then. You either get 35 yeah. damage or you get 14 plus bleed. So it's uh, it's better now. I mean, currently it's very busted because it's either, you know, they make the wrong read, they eat the, they eat the undodgeable heavy, which then gives you, you know, 35 damage, or they eat the kick, and if it's an example the arena map, you get wall splatted, it's 49 damage. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's a big mix. Like, yeah, it's a mix-up, but it's a very, very strong mix-up. I mean, defect is, 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 is completely in all situations, unless you... So basically... It's worse than the heavy parry punish because yeah. you the heavy parry punish leads into leads to the same mix up except uh, it does more damage to start off with sixteen versus four. Um, the obviously the reason why you want to deflect here is to put the opponent. I mean, currently with the thing wall splatting, you want to put the opponent so they're going to get wall splatted by the ranged heavy. So, so, it, so it's more of a you're back to the wall. You now, want to deflect them so you can kick them into the wall. Whereas if they're back into the wall, you want to parry them so you can kick them to the wall. Making sense? Yeah. So. All right. Um, that's pretty much it for the move sets of uh, new heroes. So uh, obviously, out of the three, Shinobi is the best right now, followed by uh, Oro, and then uh, Raider. Poor Raider. Ra Raider's um, probably the best out of these in ones, but though. Yeah, in one v ones, Raider is the best out of the three characters, but. So um, obviously, obviously. Um... I just want to ask one, one last thing that's kind of it, is that um, obviously with this new change to allow you to roll after doing the backflip, um, do you think this is like a an okay direction of the character to go, where like kind of it's high mobility, but it's all about getting into the fight rather than going at the fight? I mean, it's... Um, I, I, could, I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, I don't know if it's a good change, a bad change. It's really weird. It even has iframes to it. So if... We tested this, uh, no, not the backflip, the front flip. It, oh, it's very, way. very weird and inconsistent. Though. Yeah, it's it super inconsistent. Uh, if but the, what we tried is I was BP and he was uh, Shinobi and he did uh, uh, backflip into front roll and I buffered the dodge forward heavy and it missed because of iframes. So I, it's super inconsistent. Bashes, it won't dodge. Sometimes it won't dodge lights. Uh, it's... I don't know, it's uh, kind of just for stamina regening. Just regening a bit of stamina and getting back in the fight really quickly. So we're talking backflip in terms of uh, iframes. It doesn't have it's iframes. It has, what it has is dodge properties. So moves will stop tracking you, and that's why it can dodge some bashes and stuff. But they, it is still, uh, like lights will uh, track it. You know, undodgeable lights will be able to track it as well. But it depends, it depends more on the attack's hitbox if the, the from the opponent throws the attack rather than the tracking as it were because it breaks the track but it does it's basically like it backflip is basically like it was already 
like it was already like that. It doesn't have proper iframes. It's just weird. Um, whereas the forward dodge, the forward roll does actually have iframes, and will avoid attacks or attacks that hit through it if you time it right. Jesus, the uh, stream is really having yeah, the stream is dying. Uh, yeah, no, I, we can do about it. No, I, no. I got another. Uh, I got another question for the deflect follow up, the mix up. Mm. Yeah. Um, Static guard heroes like Raider, they keep their guard up doing a dodge. Does that mean they could basically negate the whole mix up if they're guarding the right direction? Yes. Uh, yes. But then again, it, that's a bit. But you can like, also I'm... faint to guard break, so it's not yeah. like like they that will catch a, a dodge as well, and also just lose to dodge, dodge attacks. So. Yeah, but uh, that's why you have two of them that are undodgeable. You make a guess on which one, and. Uh... So they have to make they have to make two guesses. They have to make a guess on whether it's going to be a kick or a sickle rain in the first place, and then they also have to guess which side the sickle rain could come from. So it's definitely favored to you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the move sets of the uh, heroes. Uh, I don't know what we could show now. We still have like so oh, much man. left. We could show ganks if we. Yeah, I'd, I've got seen some ganks and talking about some team fight stuff with them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can uh, show the target switching of the. What What about the, the Rochi's uh, storm rush with Hitokiri's onesies with friends? I mean, it's uh, something. Uh, I don't want to go over Hito. Fuck that character. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Conqueror still being able to fucking option select some attacks? It's whatever. It's Conk. Uh, yeah. It's. Uh, I'm in game if you want to invite me to camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing new anymore. It's. Uh... Is, is because... it Conk like nothing but defense as a character? Yeah, that is the that is his thing. He's nothing but defense. Yeah, it's not a good character. It's not a well made character. So, it definitely needs a rework. Character definitely needs a rework. Uh, another question to Kong uh, that, that 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 has been brought up. His zone parry, do you get blocked by that? Uh, what do you mean you so, get blocked by that? Like his zone has like this full block thing going on. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you gotta put it on Dominion because it's not testing around. Oh yeah, you're right. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just go to a, a testing ground area. Just turn bots off and we'll go to a, a heal zone. Mm -hmm. Um. What I mean is, like, Conqueror has, like, this uh, full block on his zone. Um, when you're doing a normal heavy in his zone parry, do you still hit him, or does he get, you know, does, do, you, do you get blocked by the by the full block? You should get blocked. Yeah. You should get blocked, because it's, uh, it's an instant thing. It's not, like, a startup thing, so you should get blocked, yeah. But you cannot use it on an, on unblockables, obviously. Um, it still kind of sucks, though. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. It's not that bad. It's like bargain basement, um, because they're like basement level bargain level blade blockade. You can use it in some chains in some situations. Um, you can't use so like let's say you're you're you throw a heavy attack into a light attack. Well, uh, um, Aramusha can always blade blockade that light attack. Highly gubbly vulnerable, but and it can give a big punish. But if you're playing, uh, well, I'll speed. If you're playing. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna pick. If you're playing Conk, you can you can't do that after a heavy, but you can do it after a light attack. Um, so because of the different levels of hit stun, but then the damage you get from it is just only like the first zone hit, which I think what 10, 10 damage, right? It's it's negligible. So um, yeah, it, um, it, he can still use it in chains, and it will still block things, but. A lot of the time, if it blocks a light attack with it, you're not gonna you're gonna to, you're gonna be able to block the zone hit anyway, so you won't take damage from it or just more than chip damage. And of course, it's it's a heavy parry, so you know you can still punish it. Um, right. So yeah. here, um, we know very little about the shinobi gangs. There, well, there, we've tried a few with some characters, but we're basically gonna be finding them out uh, as well right now. Uh, shouldn't be too complicated though, so we'll see. Well, I guess I mean, if you want. Have you seen I, the I Goki, guess... the Goki Infinite Gang that we've got? Uh, I did. We can do that on, we can do that on the Goki as well, because that's very easy and very, very disgusting. Yeah, let's. Uh... I want to try the Garbage one first, where we get like 100 damage off a of Garbage.
Um, Discord did a really good job fixing this low quality stream issue, didn't they? Yep, fixed, bro. No problem. One hundred percent fixed. So I think we should look into that. Up. I think we stream it somewhere else as well. Um, All right. So, uh, what I wanted to try was my teammate gets a guard break and does a delayed uh, sickle drain, so I can fit in two heavies. So here, do that. So yeah, that's the thing as well. If you get a guard break on the recovery, whatever. How much damage is that? Like three Absolute bars and a half. Uploads. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, three bars 30, and a half. thirty-five plus. Uh, uh, plus twenty-seven. 50, plus twenty-seven. Yeah. So what? Fifty. Uh, six. Fifty. Yeah. Wait, no, 30, thirty-five. Thirty-five, 35 from the sickle rain. Plus twenty-seven. Plus twenty-seven, which is no, uh, eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Yeah, eighty-nine. Yeah. Of it's right. ninety damage. Uh, Punish for half a revenge war. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's a really good thing uh, that you can do with Shinobi. Uh for kick, it shouldn't be much different. So here do uh do kick. I don't we'll see what we can do from there. Today. Yes, yes. I mean off of kick you can do a headbutt for signal ring. Okay. Oh I have to press wrong button, I'm retarded. I think I could have parried that. Yeah, I did it a bit too early. Uh, that's not even like that good of a gank. You're probably better off with the with me having on your kick. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can't do better. the the oh, kick thing you used to be able to do. You just use the regen. It's much quicker. Yeah, that's what I was trying to. But uh, Nolly came and grabbed me around, manhandled me roughly. <laughs> Lord Gaming. You got to ask right. permission for that first. Um. So do you? I can. Can I still do uh, that? You can, uh, uh, it's also you can guard break, uh, or faint the sickle ready to guard break. I, I've seen that happen in the MMM games earlier, okay. so that might be a bit more. We'll see. That one was like 60 something damage around the one uh, yeah, where, right. where I confirmed sickle rain. That's dodgeable. Yeah, that one is obviously dodgeable, but uh, I'm just trying to. Stop it was really hard to see on the stream what you, what you guys were doing. Was it like trying to do the kick it's, the double? He's doing kick. I'm having on the kick punish. So and he's trying to confirm my follow up. Uh, okay. Which this if this score was any better, then you would be able to see. But here, the best I can do is try and stop and start up again. Yeah. All right. Uh, here, uh, if you can paint into confirm. With the guard break. That won't happen. That's way right. too slow. You have to mm -hmm. forgive me. You might have to tell me what you want me to do. Um, otherwise, I'll just tend to freeze up in these kinds of situations. So, yeah. I'm really good at anti gank and things that. I'm, I'm so, in my health bar. one of the ganks is still the old bash gank. We don't have heavy into sickle range, so we'll do that real quick. Let's confirm a heavy. I can GB light or. Oh, wait, why was that? Uh, I don't know. It hits done, I guess. Hold on, try again. Just don't regen. It's whatever. Okay. Uh, I want to know if that still revenge locks. It should. I oh, I could have got revenge then, I think. I will try, I will try. Well, one second, my game is lagging out, so I'm going to stream from this stop watching the stream and then I can oh, it's okay. I need to check something there we like go 30 range second so I can see what I'm doing yeah there we go uh, can I do a double headbutt I don't even know I don't I think if I late heavy yeah maybe yeah then I can do that that's probably the you, you could probably GB for that yeah, I can probably GB for that, but to be honest, to be honest, uh, I don't even know if anybody will be expecting that, definitely not for a while, because it is like, what, 500? I mean, even, and even if they dodge it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I yeah, just if you dodge it. that, you're not really punished. You can always, do, you can always do heavy light, like uh, heavy light on it, and if they pair light, it, it confirms the heavy. Which is another 14 damage. Yeah, I mean, you're probably better off just not doing anything after that and waiting for tags. Yeah, probably. 
Uh, so we did that. Uh, is there other stuff you can do? I mean, there's basic Shinobi gang where Shinobi just tries to, you know, mix up a little bit. He tries to heavy, and then you GB for second heavy. You get into sickle, and you get a heavy. That's the most basic Shinobi gang. It takes around half the health bar. 50 damage, yeah? Um, yeah, that's good. I think something you, like, Shinobi can do, well, the basis of all his, like, crazy infinite ganks will be you sickle rain, and then you fucking backflip into front flip into sickle rain again. Uh, and in between that, your ally lands a heavy that confirms... Or lands a heavy and then a guard break or something that confirms. I mean, you could probably use this as well. Like, yes, I come in. Can use this. I, I come in and then. Oh, oh yeah, I, 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 I cannot confirm that in any way. Uh, yeah, I was just sleeping on that. Um, you could probably. Oh, what if I? What if I? What if I do the ranged heavy? You'd like heavy yeah, very yeah. late. Yeah, no, that's what I was gonna tell you. Just do a ranged heavy really late. Also, we're gonna let him if we do it like this. So do it like this. No, he can dodge. Yeah, but here, if he doesn't dodge, so don't dodge. Yeah, that's... Uh, and then you can confirm there. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, that, that has potential, uh, but obviously it's, you can defend yourself against it. Uh, yeah, the only one you can't defend yourself against is probably still Bash Gang. Uh, because second headbutt is confirmed. You know, whip out... Um, you want to whip out Shigoki and show off the infinite. Uh, I'd, yeah. I'd need to look at the fucking oh, it's again. super super easy. It's can really I, really easy. Um, can, can I ask Nobby to do something real quick in in, in regards of the stream quality? Mm. Um, can you? I know you're gonna hate me for it, but can you go into graphics setting, turn on VSync for a minute, and just try throwing attacks? That's something I notice. I want to double check. VSync. VSync. Yeah. How would that affect Discord? May maybe. maybe. No, Maybe. it's to do with the, the no, same thing to do with somebody in the chat who's got um yeah no no if... like yeah no no t turn it on turn it, but what what I what I notice is when when your frames go down, uh, the Discord uh stream does does something that's very uh very adamant with uh the. I mean, my frames won't go down because frames aren't going down. It's the the issue on Discord. Yeah. yeah also, my frames aren't going down because uh. I if I put VC on, it's gonna put it at two forty. Uh, yeah. just throw out some attacks. Yes. Nothing different. Okay, never mind. No, it, it looked to me. If like you have a, if you have a, sixty hertz monitor, that might do something. But yeah. No, it, it looked a bit, uh, a bit to me like the the Discord stream is crapping up because the GPU might be capped out. But no, no, it, this is a Discord issue. It's what happens yeah. is if it, the stream quality is based on the person the lowest quality internet in the chat. So um, whoever's got bad internet is dumping. Sure, folks. Sure, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, well, I have to I have to download my research material. You know. I mean, uh, I don't know how bad your internet is to, no. to actually fuck it up. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. It, it's just not very stable. This tool. Yeah. We would we. It wasn't many patched, but they clearly haven't because it's still trash. Um, yeah. Um, no internet uh, stable. I want to ask: Is that obviously during this first and gowns they've um they've tried to like remove all umselects? Um, I do know some people would like to uh, see the zone umselects stay. Um. But what do you guys opinion on that? Well, zone options option select should 100% stay. Uh, you can ask any comp player, and they'll tell you they're gonna want option select zone option select to stay. Uh, if you ask some, they're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell you that it's actually dumb that they're uh, removing them, uh, other than the obviously completely broken ones like guard switch and maybe even dodge. Uh, there but are honestly not quite it's, as monolithic opinion as that, but there are plenty of. So there are some comp players who are in favor of removal, or at least, you know, less, but care about it less going. Um, yeah. Um, Zone OS is, I'll explain why it's so important. So basically, uh, a thing in competitive Dominion uh, is sometimes chasing a player that's low, or like one bar of HP, to their home point to contest the heal, which could be an easy backup plus kill Renown. Um, doing that, uh, or stalling, trying to stall a heal, maybe he gets a rotation. So you chase a guy to a point, you get onto the point, it's a 1v1, he gets a teammate. So there's one guy with full HP and one guy with one bar. They can't really gank you, that's when you're stalling the heal, you're stalling the point, point gen, whatever. 
Um, that's a thing that is really important. Problem is now that's going to be very situational and you might only want to chase when the person is literally one HP because option selects help a lot with anti-yanking. Uh, the only reason anyone can survive as much as they do at comp level is because of option selects. Um, because, you know, adds, a, adds another layer of defense uh, against two people. It's sort of a thing that balanced out. Like, if you use them properly uh, and made good reads with them, uh, you could survive much longer and hopefully get a teammate to help you. Um, obviously, it was stronger with more option sex, bash, uh, whatever, guard break, dodge, joyous, anything really. But zone is the most important because who... I want to know if anyone here has a problem with Zone OS. Like, it's overpowered or think that it's like breaking the game. Because I doubt it. The, I, the only I, real problem that I have with Zone OS is that not every character has the same access to it. That's yeah, the issue I have. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, there are some that are better. But the uh, thing is, if it was a mechanic in the game, so not something that wasn't intended to be there, Nobody would give a shit. Nobody would complain. Um, and I'd even go as far as to say the same for Bash and GB, or one of them. If they were in the game and they were there from like the beginning, they weren't like found out like season 10 and whenever the option select boom happened. It's people are really overdoing it. Um, well, it's yeah. not that big of a deal. So yes, and, yes and no. I mean, like, I mean, I think I personally, I think that Sono is as fine. Like, you. Paid it out, you parry it, you, you get to survive better in 1v2s. GB is kind of like, it's again, it's a bit debatable how you think about it personally. I don't mind it because everyone can do it. That's the one, like, the good thing about GB, everyone can do it. Like, characters that don't have zone options, I like, can just do GB OS instead. I don't personally like Bash because not everyone can do Bash OS. And yeah. it's like character specific options, like, I don't like those too much. I like uh, every, options, like, that are like stuff that everyone can do. That's why I personally think that zone options, like, if everyone could do it, it would be perfectly balanced. Same for GBOS, like, just feign into light. I still think it would be, it's one of these things that's like, a, sort of, in terms of, if you can do zone option select every time, the, the reward, like, in terms of the amount of options it covers and the risk it has, it's, like, there's no reason to not, the only reason to not do it is if somebody, if somebody is going to bait it. and Or stamina. Uh, or stamina, yeah, but, like, uh, given how wide, like, how much variety there is in zone, like, you know, someone like Tent can zone option select fucking every every attack that comes into him, and, you know, it doesn't really matter. And if you do, or conk, basically, you, you can zone option, you can't, like, kill a conk externally, because he can just zone externally and be completely safe from everything on the external. Um, you know, some characters can't punish uh, Glad's option select, that kind of, that kind of stuff, like, yeah, that the, the, there's a lot of variety in it, and it does limit the kind of things they can choose to do. I mean, like like twelve damage, twelve stamina zones would give a lot more flexibility to you know certain move sets and stuff. But we just can't have that because because zone options like but twelve stamina would be ridiculous. Um, so I think it really it's more it shows more about problems with um, you know team fights and stuff. Uh, with, sorry, with with ganking in general and like the issues with revenge that. Than it does like anything to do with the actual it's the mechanic itself, in my opinion. But you know, so um, also I'm gonna shut up after this, but just um, this is giving me a, a thought. Like I was mentioning that you said how um, we can't we can only balance zone so much because the offensive tools and defensive tools currently. So I was kind of thinking, kind of like how other fighting games they have a dedicated move for attacking grabs. What if there was something similar for, for zones? So there's one universal move ever you, you ever could use that can parry stuff. Um, but it's very unique. It's it's the same thing, and that leaves up the zone to um, to be used for, uh, as another move in the, in the toolkit. Do you think something like that could work? Well, I mean that would work. It's like so if zone op so, so that's another reason why zone op selected in itself problematic is because it's not in. I mean it, it's it's just a, it's a, to do with a, a learning curve type thing. There's no way to learn about zone op select in the game itself until you you know go to external sources. So, if there was a mechanic in the game which allowed you to parry, and let's say zone parries, if fainted, you, well, you did a zone, and if they 
correct parries, you just get like uh, you know frame advantage and but no guaranteed punish. Then zone option select would be like fine because you know the damp the ri- the like the risk to reward you're getting is is low because you're not getting much of a reward. But as it is, I don't like. I think most people. I mean, there's a reason why it's used so much is because it's so safe. Um, well, comparatively safe compared to any other kinds of, uh, and, that, and that's a necessity in uh, in the way that ganking works and like outnumbered situations work. But that's mostly because outnumbered situations are so unfavorable. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, so I'll shut up now. <clears throat> uh, like uh, the the thing with that's my opinion. Is... Like, like the, the the thing with the zone, like if every, uh, as a, like if everybody had access to it and it was like somewhat, uh, the s- same across the board. But we have like Warden or Yom who has like five hundred milliseconds zone in this uh, zone OS, and then on the other hand we have like Highlander or or Raider or nu- and Nusha, who can't even utilize that. Well, Highlander can, but it's just pretty bad. Yeah, yeah Highlander, yeah. but Highlander's bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's another thing. Like I. Personally, think that dodge attacks work in many in a similar way to zone options Lex. So, I mean, they cover the same kind of good dodge attacks cover the same kind of options. Um, so, like that would be a way to have that kind of coverage, but in the same, you know, in a nicer package, as it were. Uh, in the move sets, but no. basically, here's the thing: um, the only real reason to remove zone os i'm not going to talk about the other ones is because like he said it's not a thing that you're taught from the beginning you can't just go in game and find it in your move set but def- defense uh just gameplay in general to be honest uh the fighting system is really shallow in this game compared to other fighting games it's very limited uh obviously other fighting games street fighter tech and whatever they have like a dictionary worth of moves uh, for one character. So, yeah, that's uh, that's more much more complicated. With this, you what do you have? You have light attack, heavy attack, guard break. Uh, that's it for offense and for defense. You have parry and block and dodge. Like it's really simple. And option selects added a uh, layer to that, uh, which I I'd, I'd say is very much needed. Um, so I think if it were to be turned into a mechanic zone OS, so like it would say like zone would just parry, or like it would be a different binding. I don't know, but something like that would make it very fair. Yeah, obviously there's the inconsistencies from zone to zone, but that's not something that's impossible to balance. Like it doesn't have to be oh some characters are glad whatever. It's you're better changing one move. To balance out uh, a thing across the board, then have to change the whole board. I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, uh, no, I don't I mean. Um, yeah. But like, I think they would have needed to formalize it, and the work required to formalize the mechanic, and they, and it, and I mean, part of what makes from a comparatively successful um, is how it is a bit simpler than other games. I mean, that, like, it's one of the more successful fighting games. I just it's the working it man's fighting game. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's very. It's it's not just a fighting game because it's the team modes and um, part of the reason why that possible because it is comparatively simple and even then it does have quite a steep learning curve. Um, people who aren't used to other games. I mean, I mean, there's not really there's not many similarities between Frona and other games that you can you can take across if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. Shall we show off this Shugo? Uh, Shinobi gank, because it's really hilarious, and you guys yeah, will enjoy it. I want to see that. But, um, but like I said, the point you made about it being simple on Vikings is kind of... It's a weird comparison, but it's kind of similar to something like you know, Mario Kart, where like, with Mario Kart there are more complex thing, techniques and stuff to learn, but at its base, at its core, it's extremely simple to compare to other fighting games. And maybe for Honor, it should stay that way, or maybe it should become more good. It's, it's an interesting discussion to be had on should it be more comparable? Should it be more casual? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't think it's really that we're comparing it to other games. It's just in the game itself right now in the TG, offense is 
like offense and defense are not balanced in any way. Offense is just way too strong with, and you have simple big stuff, whatever, Fenty Garbic, on the blockable. If you can't react to Pyre Flash, uh, Flash, which less than like five, maybe less than 10 people know or not know how to do, but can do consistently, um, it's, oh, it's really strong. That's I mean, thing. I don't think that you've, so I think that some people are saying, oh, it's just, okay, everything's now faint. It's parry or, or, or don't parry and like faint to GB or let it go, which is not true because we have dodge attacks and we have other mechanics that, you know, defensive mechanics specialized for each character. There are superior blocks for, you know, non unblockables. Um, and you know, we have deflects and all that kind of stuff. Like, and you can obviously go for interrupts on reads as well. So it's not quite as simple as, oh, you just press one button or don't press it, like has been characterized. And, and I think that's a bit unfair to say. It, it is simpler, obviously, but I also don't think it's the case that it's just 50 you know, 50, 50 of faint or, or guard break. I mean, I don't think that's true. But, you know, I don't know. You know, we're you know, allowed to dislike it and, dis and, and like it if you want. So this gank, by the way, it starts off a sickle rain, um, and pretty much what you do is you, you hug on the end of sickle rain, and then the shinobi backflips and then forward rolls and uh, sickle rains off the end of hug, and you can repeat that until death. Okay, well, I need to see the. Oh, you can't. You can't wait, right? wait, really? Oh, wait, is it that easy? Okay, no, yeah, no, I... yeah. I mean, you have to do it, time it a little bit later than that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, let me heal. Let no, me heal. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just letting, I'm just regenning because if you get it right, this is a hundred to zero with no revenge. Do I have to do it oh, as man. soon as uh, the last uh, bleed hit? Touches yeah, you? you don't want, yeah, you want to do it on the last last hit and you don't want to interrupt the, the you want to allow the Shinobi to be able to um, back up away. So basically, yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll. Yeah, it's basically that, though. I got okay, that, okay. Thing, right? It's first time doing this. Okay, let's try again. Oh, that I can't delete at all. Jesus. So I just have to buffer it, I guess. Oh, well, that's Ooh. stupid. Yeah, but it pins you out of the hug, so um, you right. don't have to worry about as long as you hit after the hug does the damage, which is pretty easy to do, um, and, it's still going to pin me again. Can someone like I can BP do anything against it all, or is it just a... Uh, after he gets the guard break, it's 100 to 0, and oh, it wow. is uncountable. Oh, shit. Okay, so, we'll yep. again. About... <laughs> so about the matchmaking fun, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> We're in the summer, I guess. I couldn't input my light. You need to buffer I... the shit out of those. Yeah, yeah but you it feels there. so awkward to do now. A lot of Shinobi's mm. inputs do feel quite awkward. I think they changed the delay windows on strict and them up on a lot of them. You can't delay the things after the rolls at yeah. all now. Which is... I, I don't. I don't like this whole not being able to uh, lay stuff. Finger. I don't know. It just block. feels unnecessarily strict, in my opinion. Yeah. But... Before they get fixed, I think there was a similar issue with Scent in these first testing rounds. Everything was really clunk in the timings, but they did fix that. Um, so hopefully they'll do the same for him. Yeah. One or two. Yeah. I remember the days when they when there was uh, bias towards the Knights. Uh, did that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure with these, obviously, the physical change, but these current changes... GB, GB, GB. And then spam GB. I think every Samurai hero has oh, a good say, you know, in all circumstances. Um, the Kensei is still good in Volvi Force, but Monday one is obviously, you know, good there. But yeah, the sam Samurai are getting there. I think, like, you can see there'll be a meta now with uh, like top level. If they're, if they're, not, I mean, taking scent, they're not taking a night hero, I think. I think every uh, every Samurai now it's now competitively viable. Yeah, yeah, with these changes. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, uh, maybe not um, Orochi. I mean, or, yeah. Or, I mean yeah, maybe Orochi is the only one, but otherwise, like, five not... out of five out of six, that's pretty fucking good. In the context uh, of Dom, yes, six out of seven, right? I would agree. Uh, Armusha, yeah, I guess Armusha as well. Armusha is a very, very compatible, very compatible. Armusha is a very good character right now in Forty Four. Out of the samurai, he's the second most viable after Shug. Yeah, easily. Ito. Really, that's no, wrong. Um, 
Yeah, he's he's a very very good character. He's a very very good gank. He's got very good team fights. He's got some of the better feats in the game. His dodge attack is really good for one v twos. Like he's one of the few. I think he's one of the one of the few characters that even with the OS changes, he's still going to be able to do stuff in one v twos because his dodge attack is actually better than his zone options. Like he just dodge attack instead. He yeah. also has the fact that he is very very safe in team fights because you know he can just recovery cancel into the full block. The only thing that can punish him are bashes or. Uh, Unblockables, but he can just most of the time he can just light them. He does a lot of damage. Like he has does so much damage, especially with deadly. Um, Juggernaut is overpowered. It's broken feet. He has access uh, to stalwart. He has access to second wind. He can clear mid decently. He's very safe in mid. Fear itself. He fear itself. I mean, you can use fear itself as well. Like well, I mean, of... try to okay, try to dodge the headbutt. Okay. So I'm gonna throw you into the wall. I'm gonna do a dodge forward every try to dodge the headbutt afterwards. Yeah, it is dodgeable. Yeah, it's because uh, walls yeah, bounce cause... first, counts first, it's on. So I don't know if you will know about this, but um, if you lock this for dodge heavy, you cannot dodge the. Or if you get hit by it. Or if you get hit by it, yeah, this is is one hundred percent confirmed. So, so if you if you wanna if you have a friend you're playing with, make sure you let him know whenever he sees you land this, either if it hit or it gets blocked, make sure to buffer heavy because it's free damage. Yeah. So that's uh. Handy tip. Have we got any other questions about particular think techniques for these characters you want to use with these characters? So, I got a feed question, but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, nail bomb. Why? Like, I like, uh, no, not nail bomb. Why smoke is bomb. nail bomb? Oh, no, no, uh, no, not nail that's, bomb, smoke bomb. Like, that's getting uh, uh, that's getting worked on at the moment. So, oh, it's getting worked on. Okay, Good. yeah, smoke bomb. We know is due changes because they've. In the patch notes, they've mentioned in the bug report, they've mentioned that there are some uh, uh, that there are some changes coming to it or something. Basically, oh, actually, talking of bugs and things, I can read out other stuff that we've found out that isn't documented um, and that we haven't covered over yet. So uh, we mentioned, okay, so on Raider. They've got a strange is a strange bug. If you whiff your chain light, you can't chain to a zone. So you can't like backstep into a zone. Maybe we can do those characters again and can just show off the any other any other things okay. that we can think of. Um Oh god, this is really bad. <laughs> what are we switching to? Oh, we'll just each pick up one of the 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 rework characters. I'll go Raider. Oh Rochi. So obviously, with, with Shinobi's ability to now like roll after a backflip, and now he can tack us up for his heavies and his his, front, his forward roll. Do you think it's a viable tactic in team fights to be able to like, you know, tack up, swap, and roll in between opponents, or would it be better to just focus on one person? Do you think? That's uh, very situational. Depends on the situation. Yeah. Sometimes mm, okay. when there's like four people around, you might actually want to be focusing on one because do rolling and backflipping left and right, like we said, they don't have actual like iframes or it's very inconsistent. You can eat like a lot of damage, and Shinobi is still the only character that has less HP than everyone else in the game. So, yep, and uh, and something else that like he has some weird. They are some. I'm not sure if these are bugs or just like interactions but he's quite easy to have his punishes you can bump into opponents or opponents can be bumped into him and they can interrupt him and his, his flow is very important right if you if you aren't constantly moving around you're very vulnerable as shinobi and uh, that is something that you can if, if i mean he's much more less he's much less like oh sorry i'm just going to this minion here He's much less like sitting at the edge of team fights the entire time throwing range attacks, but he's still not happy being right in the middle of them. So that is quite a big, big difference. So yeah, I'll show off the uh, the zone thing not chaining. If you can, if you can see me, um, yeah, I'm here. So right then, I am pressing zone attack. So yeah, if you buffer the oh. shit as uh, zone input, it comes out as a light. Yeah, but if I no, 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 you, you, if you if my second one whiffs, it's a it's a light, um, it's a bug. So if if I hit them. Um, then I can do the, then I can do the zone. Um, you also so the the neutral zone is a starter, but you can't chain into a zone from it. If you hit it, you're just going to light. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll be a bit stupid zone into so. I mean, I think zone is. Wait, what the fuck is this thing? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What? Did you see that? That, that no. big ghost fellow just showed up. 
It was like the guy with the arms, the like, Kinyoshin. Oh, the, just... the, the hallucinations from the event, yeah. Oh, I didn't know this. It was just like, I was not expecting that. There was just random, like, shimmery dudes just showed up here. I didn't see that. Oh, the yeah. Uh, I don't know if. No, but. Oh, you kicked him in while I was doing the thing. Oh, I know what you're going to show. <laughs> you should get it back fast. Yeah, I do. Oh, actually, this is a fun one. Um, uh, it's not going to work with two of us here. Um, we're we're the, wrong, the wrong team, so what you need is uh, one of us to be on. If we swap over and I can go Orochi, um, this would be a fun fun thing to show off. This is a bit of a strange one. Um, so if you go... Uh, why don't you go Raider, just because like, we can show off something else that... Well, then we, I'll go Orochi. This is a... This is a quite a fun one, actually. Um, okay, do I need to be here? Oh no, I'll go. I'll go, Rich, on, on my own, and you go. Oh, you okay. guys go, and the other two. One of us will go Raider, right? Yeah, just just to show off that you can't. I'm going to show that the the deflex is meant to interrupt hyper armor, but it doesn't. So you still trade with the uh, side heavies, but not the finishes uh before i interrupt anything mm -hmm. i wanted to ask it's kind of an off-topic question but since the new, new hitokiri changes i wanted to know how good he is because i've been wanting to play him uh, hitokiri is very very good, good. very good yeah. uh, at um, the competitive level it's usable very usable definitely enough pick so some yeah. uh, some teams in the NA are paying, picking him as as their like a ganker instead of centurion basically. Yeah, um, I wouldn't call it. Uh, I mean, I definitely wouldn't call it a mandatory pick. I wouldn't call it a pick because uh, only a few teams in the NA. It's, are it's viable. It. It's viable. Yeah, it it's is a, viable. It's, yeah, one hundred percent. It's uh, until uh, I see some people in EU using it, uh, <laughs> uh, I won't call it a pick. So. All right. If you stand over there, Silver, um, Greg, if, if you throw, like, so you, Silver, you want to stand quite a long way away, like, um, further, further back, right? Uh, Greg, if you throw me a top heavy, I have been not shit. Oh my god, I'm so, I suck so much. You're buffering the light input. Yeah. It's fine here. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's just slower than I expect. There we go. I'm demonstrating it really, really well. Um, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's 100 milliseconds fast. <laughs> the game is working as intended. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, it's me being garbage is, is the is the issue. Is the issue. Oh, you know what? No. Oh, All right. you can do it one, one more time. One more time. There All right. Boom. Oh. oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, Here. okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's cool. I am, I'm showing that to Rick. I think he's gonna love that. Yeah, that is. Uh, this only happens on the deflect, as far as we can tell. But, yeah, and that goes quite a long way. I think we'll probably go from out, about here. We'll we'll go. Uh, it's basically as long as. Oh no, oh, no not on the okay, Can you do a heavy off or just a light? No, nah, it's the guaranteed light. I mean, I can carry chain on him. Um, okay, so that's the range. So yeah, from here to there, I don't even know if you can see anything, but here. it's a long range. Yeah, it's it's wacky as fuck. It's like some of the old um like you used to oh, be yeah. like... uh, I guess I can show this one to you, Spaniard. And then if you try to counter guard break it, I get a free zone there. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. I I don't have it yet. But it's just um it's a funny Orochi tech. Plus like I actually think Kia might be usable on Orochi now. What well, no, it had like two rate two radiuses. Like did you see that on, on the ground I, or I I think it that might just be like the scream part itself. And was... one thing, uh, how many zones can you do as Raider now? Six. Oh, neutral, you six. Here, I'll do them for you. Seven? <laughs> the... Ooh, oh, no, okay. it's, actually, you... it's actually much more usable in team fights now because you can throw it and you can chain. So it's not like if previously, if you hit the and you were, uh, you like. If you don't hit everybody around you, they're going to get a free garbage on you. But now you can chain, so that's not so, nearly as bad. But you're still going to get interrupted by it. Really so, Tornado Raider viable now? Uh, uh, no. uh, so, here, here's the funniest one. 
So you get 16 damage for throwing your tier 1. Plus you get your, you know, offense afterwards. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's pretty cool. And yeah. they have to, to, to not do that, they have to just not counter guard break, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I think I forgot to mention. Um, Shinobi's shuriken confirms his kick. If oh, you do, really? If you, if you do shurikens and then do one dodge forward into kick, all everything buffered, it's confirmed. So oh, that's what... Uh, I, 20 I into, it's Actually, 20 I don't know if that's confirmed. 20 into 14, but um, if you dodge before you use uh, shurikens and you have slip through, it turns into 28. Yeah. So 28 into 14 can do with a uh, tier 2 feet. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. How did that even go? <laughs> that just went up. Oh. <laughs> also, Kia is like, I think it might be the optimal pick on Orochi now, because like you get decent out of stamina offense. Yeah. You always have it. Plus, it's really, really good in 1v2s, because you put both of the enemies out of stamina. And then you could, or even if you put only one of them out of stamina, well, again, that gives yeah. you free stall. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, like, you know, I think Kunai is also probably the best. Like, instant 15 damage is pretty good. Yeah, on 30 second cooldown, they should really nerf that. I mean, yeah, you have smoke bomb as well. You yeah, just... but, you know, like, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, hit me with your hit me with your passion charge. <laughs> I, I got I got PTSD from Kia and, and and smoke bomb today. You know, like everybody was like playing Shinobi or Roshi. Oh, of course, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I actually haven't played uh, any matchmaking. Getting before. getting body blocked by three roaches in the corner, smoke bomb and Kia. Yeah, that's big fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so slow. I refuse to lock on. I'm playing like fish. <laughs> Surprisingly, not. Oh, actually, something I would like to check, uh, Greg. Can you is can you chain the throw? Can you like throw and then throw again and chain a throw off and wake up? You couldn't. You didn't used to be able to because. Oh, oh no, wait, I need you. Oh yeah. Uh, no, you don't have to be out of stamina because I fall down anyway. Um, yeah, definitely not. Okay, so it's still still you, like there's the animation of me like letting go of you like this bit. That's way too long. Yeah, I mean there used to be used to be maybe if like you go long enough you could No. no. Uh, you can do it out of stamina though. <laughs> if you throw them on the ground you can Yes, you can do that stuff. I um You can also do it off of a wall splash, it's just a very strict timing. I mean you gotta throw them. Uh, you gotta throw them behind. Throw me backwards, and then you can. And then you can. I, yeah, just... I haven't done this yeah. before, so I don't know. Oh, well, it's, it's actually like later than it used to be. It's, um... There yeah, you go. Uh, other things are there. So the zone on the on the knee to the wall splat. The zone is not gar Oh yeah. <laughs> Great game. Insane game mechanics. <laughs> yeah, he's got a really good fucking Garbrek punish now, guys. Um, use it every time you've got it. <laughs> oh, just use your top, hoe. Wait, you can't. Position better. Um, but the hitbox on that is actually pretty good. Like, I was, I mean, I, I mean I'm, not, I'm not a high level player by any means, but I was enjoying some brawls with him earlier. I mean, he's, his issue is that everything he does, you can interrupt with a light attack. Like, in a 1v2 with him, like, he either throws light attacks, and if they block, you get free guard break. Or he throws his opener, and you just light attack him, and there's nothing he can do. Like, if he lands he lands a tap on somebody, you light attack him, he's dead. I mean, like, you, like, you just do it over and over again. It's, it, it literally, it literally nothing. So, in many ways, he's far... Should, should we show you that off, like, now, if, if I want to what? go? Like, how, how bad Raider is in, in twos now, and he compared to what he used to be? I mean, it's I mean, we it's kind of like talked about it earlier. How yeah, yeah we can't we can't really show that. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's just his recoveries are very very bad now. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, more. I mean, they, the they, is still they bad, never so, uh, they never fixed yeah. the recovery on this. Like, it's yeah. still like more than a second or whatever it is. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like earlier like landed a fucking bash on 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 freeze when he was in recovery in in revenge with that. I was like, oh wait, shit, he's in his zone recovery, so I can just guard break him, and then I like. Recovered from my bash, hitting his revenge armor, and Gar broke him. I mean, and it was still confirmed. Earlier uh, today, like when we, Normie, we, we were doing one v one Smith Normie, he did his uh, triple chain light finisher. I fainted a heavy, and I was still able to guard break him. Yeah, because he whiffed it. Like recoveries are fucking stupid on this game. Yeah. <laughs> like, they are extremely bad.
Lights on. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, the lights on will work on me because I'm slow as fuck. Um, have you got any other questions? Because I... Um, uh, anything else you want, to, you want to talk about there, guys? Or? Mm, uh, not that's really. That's pretty much it, yeah. Well, there isn't really much to it. Any more questions from the from the, the, the chat, as it were? Uh, I do have one question from the peanut gallery. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, with Shinobi's, obviously one of the ones being better than sand, faster rotations, somewhat stupid feats, uh, is there any chance his situational ganks and all of those perks will cause him to get picked in any situation over sense reliable 100 to zeros? So, I mean, cur all... currently, currently the issue with Send is that the only thing he can do, the only thing he brings to the team is 100 old ganks. Yeah, the character is dumb shit in itself. Like, the, everything else about the character is terrible. Especially with the current meta. Like, yeah. you cannot play Send in the current meta. Like, yeah, yeah you have 100 old ganks, but you have nothing else. You cannot teamfight with Send. Send is a bad teamfighter. You cannot 1v1 with Send because every character is currently in the meta. Fuck Send up in 1v1s. Yeah, they have, so, if, you had, if they have a bash which you can't punish with, like, just dodging and guard breaking, Send is, yeah. is, is left with the... Yeah, so. the only real... I feel like the current gankers, or we have Aramusha, who's, like, pretty good at ganking, is very good gank, very good very good and consistent bash gank. His um, 400 miss pommel, of course, like, if you try to dodge attack it, unless you have a dodge bash, you can't punish it. Uh, he's very safe in everything he does. Very good team fighter. We were talking about this earlier. Um, otherwise, you have Hirokiri, who's kind of like you can. He can be your main ganker. Like Hirokiri has an infinite gank where if you heavy late on a bash on her, you know she gets a kick. If you heavy late on that, that confirms another kick, which then confirms her heavy and then confirms your heavy. I want to do that again. Let's do that again real quick. Yeah, yeah. Try that off. It's like an infinite gank that's kind of. It is very disgusting to do because it, it is a one hundred O. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you stop it until it's, you either kill them or you stop just before you give them revenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Onesies with benefits. Yeah. yeah. Much, yeah. <laughs> onesies with benefits, with you know. That was good. Oh, no, 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 you go the fucking girl. I'm not touching that shit. I oh, swear to not touch that shit. So. I won't. So, she, I mean, uh, Glad still is usable as a ganker as well, because it's a skewer. Okay. Um, Plus, Glad gonna, also has I'm the gonna big I'm going to stop benefit. you right there, Spaniard, because Glad is better than Scent. Okay, there we go. All right. I wasn't um, sure where the so, uh, the consensus had fallen now, if he'd gone back below scent or if he'd gone above scent. The, the reason why he is... People realized. Yeah, the reason why he is better than scent is because just because you have 100 old ganks does not make you good in 44. People were like, oh, he has 100 old ganks, so he must be the best ganker. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if you have 100 old ganks if you don't always end up in gank situations. Yeah. But you, if we now say, yeah, every single time you end up in a gank situation with scent, you win. That's the rule now. But in every other situation, you lose. You cannot win a game just because you can gank everyone. Whereas, you know, Glad, Glad can, he can gank decently, he's now, a decent gank, but he also can team fight and he can one one Like, he can do everything better than Scent except for gank. Uh, as of now, the current meta is very team fight heavy, and Scent's team fight is minus. So, yes. All right, let's, uh, let's do this thing. I have to remember how to do it. And I could actually do my heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, I was mashing dodge the whole time there. Um, and uh, Hidokiri kick revenge locks. So uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, not, not enough to get... Uh, not enough to get heavy, it? No. no, but if he chain heavies, then he gets a free chain heavy, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, really? So if you kick me... If, I, if I'm holding revenge and you kick into heavy, does that give me... I guess you get the heavy? I don't I get don't... my heavy, but normally does. Do if, he, do if he does sure. heavy, and then, like, yeah... Let's just oh, I see. Oh, okay. you died. You, you yeah, died. I, I, just... I had the first heavy to start off with. So, so there, I have the. Otherwise, it's just you know he would chain heavy there, which would then you know get confirmed on my kick, which because my kick were, yeah, it confirmed uh, what's it called? It gave revenge, but because of the fact that you could revenge kicks, revenge locks for just a little bit, oh, plus okay. um, plus you know the fact that it probably would hit you in the hundred ms window, it's confirmed. Yeah. And someone I'll try the same thing. I'll just block the first heavy rather than getting rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. like a lemon. Um, <laughs> Not that lemons eat, but... Oh, well, that was different. Yeah, you can you can have that. You can have it there. 
I mean, can't you pop Venge on my heavy? Because my I'll heavy. Try anyway. You, I'll just um. You can just kick me. No, 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 no. You kick, kick me, and then, and oh. then. Oh, I just didn't even try to pop Venge. I'm an idiot. <laughs> 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 I was thinking like, oh, Venge is going to happen now, and like, oh no, I need to press the button for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I was curious about. Uh, the Orochi, the Orochi forward dodge bash, forward dodge bash. It doesn't revenge lock, does it? No, uh, no, no. should Oh, okay. But uh, like Shinobi, uh, Shinobi's kick is very safe to use in revenge because it does not. because you can't get revenge power from it. Yeah. I, I don't think mean top Shinobi, heavy. I mean Orochi's. Orochi's does not know. That's just the infinite. Like That's you just so keep disgusting. on kicking. Yeah. And there's nothing the enemy can do about it. They yeah. the thing is, the only bad part about it really is the fact that you know you started off by a mix up. The first kick is not guaranteed. Yeah. But so, if, like, you land if one I GB, avoid you land one kick, yeah. you're dead. Yeah. So if I avoid the um I think so there's no like way you can I can't like if I was to dodge attack on every single one of those, for example, then you'd parry um, you know, but I think like so if you block a heavy and then I still always I can still always get No, no it's just me being bad. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. goodbye. He just hate low he just love heavy heavy late on yeah. my parry. Oh we're gonna show off the you. um okay, let's let's go we'll go into a I'll get that down. So if you're let's say you're ganking me, um and we'll just show off why the radar high parameter changes are so fucking bad. Um, if I'm in a situation where, what do you, what do you guys are like? Okay, so let's say, I mean, here I can zone and it will hit. Okay, it does actually hit both of you, but uh, like, if it doesn't, if I like do anything like, like in between that stomach tap hitting and, then you can just light me out of that every yeah. time. Not in my house too late. I, just, I need yeah. to wait for it. I need to. If I just react to it happening, as soon as I see it happen, I just light. And everything I've got is so so I'll slow. That uh, here, uh, do a something tap into heavy. I could just do okay. this. Yeah, I mean yeah. that. But even I if I do it. hit, like there's basically nothing. Like all of my, all of my stuff is so slow that it's so easy to. All my offense startup is so slow that there's really just nothing. I mean, not that you can attack much against competent people in a one v two anyway, because you just it's just it lets you press even less buttons. Yeah, just, there's just there are just no buttons you can press as radar yeah. in a in a one v two, and other than zone if you're positioned correctly, and, and even then, like even then, you're likely to be interrupted. So it's just yeah, in in two v two in like. In like team fights, you can still somewhat throw um, like hyper armor attacks around like a monkey. Um, it worked a little bit, but just not nowhere near as good as what it was before. And it was previously that was carrying him essentially, and and now he's lost like that biggest benefit that he had. He, he basically yeah. dropped from four v four to one v ones. Yes. Yeah, he's a one v one character really, um, which is a shame because one v one sucks. Yeah, and he could have been like yeah usable. Um, if his, I mean, if his recoveries were better, and he could, he had like his like good chain high armor, then he'd actually be, you know, a, a decent character. Right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, personally, I think what they should do is just change it so that uh, if you're in hit recovery, you can't be guard broken. So instead of your attacks bounce, like what will happen is, uh, it, when he had instant high armor, is you attack him into his into his high armor. And he'd be able to soft faint guard break you and grab you out of the recovery of your um your attack, even though I landed on you. But if they change that, the way that those attacks work universally, then you A, you'd be able to attack safe more safely with every character, and B, high armor guard breaks just wouldn't be a thing because you'd always be in attack recovery rather than miss recovery. So yeah. Oh, that's my two cents on, on the matter, but any other any other questions or are we good for today? Because I think we've reached the end of our dojo session and i'd have dinner because i'm crazy hungry mm -hmm. anything else i'll just Any check the voice questions text. or anything yeah oh uh, i have a another off topic question a quick yeah, sure. one go on then uh
I came back to the game after... I left, I think, after Highlander came out. Oh, wow. Okay, a long time ago. Yeah, and now I... And lights were like 600, 700 ms <laughs> yeah. you know, at that time. And now I feel like I can't even react to Lobringer's uh, uh, heavy finishers. Well, there's... Some of that will be just be practice, um, but lights are faster, and you you will find it more difficult to block them on reaction. I mean, they are doable if you have decent reactions. Even I can block lights on reaction if I'm really focusing. I get hit by other things because I'm focusing on the lights. Um, you can practice against bots in the training arena. Um, just set a bot to do like Centurion bot, for example. It's got easy to read animations. Just set him to do the light attack chain over and over again. Um, put him in revenge so you can he's not. You can chain on your block. You can just carry on blocking them. Um, eventually, you'll get you'll get you'll get good enough at, at reacting to be able to block them. Um, there's some also like new player guides and things. So if you go in the learning resources channel at the very top, there's a how to for honor 2021 video by Marco Yolo. Um, I'll just put it in voice text as well. And you, this is just a good general overview of the. Of the to think how how the game has changed for like new and returning players in um in twenty twenty one and then you know for more advanced stuff uh well you know go look at those learning resources there's a bunch of really useful stuff in it um there's the character guides um like character what called again hero overviews channel here in Discord Dojo it's got a bunch of videos that Freeze made that are really useful um. And then, yeah, if you have any other questions, you know, you always, uh, we're around. Just ask in the questions and answer channel. Somebody, somebody will answer you. And, and if you want somebody to practice with you, the training inspiring, all the scrims channels, and you can try and uh, help look for help, help you practice there as well. So, yeah. Uh, Green, that's, uh, that's great uh, advice. Thanks. No I'll try yeah. that uh, Centurion training arena revenge thing because I need to train my, my light. Uh... React, yeah, my you, reactions in general. I remember that the times where you used to turtle, and then you could just win a match like that with Lawbringer. Yeah, I mean, you you can't turtle nearly as much. I mean, you, if you have very fast reactions, you can, but it's yeah. Right you know, now, it's not as it's not really. A, 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 I really like it. Really. I but like you can the, you can offense. dodge out of light. So if you're struggling with light spam, you can if you get hit by one light, you can always dodge the next light. If you just prediction dodge, you and dodge attacks will punish that. Um, and if somebody hits you with a light finisher, you get what's called frame advantage, which means you can attack before them if they can. So if, let's say, your opponent is a Kensei and they are throwing light attacks at you and you heat the whole chain, you can light attack and your light attack will land before their next light attack does. So Oh, um, that's that extremely useful because so there's a, again, in, in the a lot. In the learning resources channel, there is uh, like how to deal with light spam video, um, like I think halfway down. Is there? No. It should be in there. <laughs> I should check as well. No, it's not. I will uh, learning that, resources. You know, it's actually not. I, in, I, I think I saw the video once. I think. Well, I put it in. It's on. I like. I, I maintain like a bunch of different like a bunch of different resource lists. So, um, don't have all of them. There we go. Here's I've added it there now. How to counter light spam? Unless it's in there, I'm just blind and I didn't see it. No, what what helped me a lot also is when you're in training mode, trying to learn how or like train how to block the lights. Just put yourself out of stamina with any character. Yeah, it's and, the same uh, thing as putting them in revenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, yeah. Another general tip I would say if you're a new player is play every character to rep one. Um, won't take you that long. I mean, you have to. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Uh, oh, I, that's I, really that's really I, good because I, that way you I learn I the moves. I did a and... long time ago, so I I kind of know what. Almost oh, most characters do. Okay. The well, new then, one, the newer ones, fuck my well, brain you, a bit. Like you've got the one or Warmonger. Yeah. Well, now play them all to rep two, <laughs> okay. and that will refresh your knowledge. And it's just a really helpful tip to if once you know how a character, you can't defend against a character unless you know what they're trying to do. And playing as that character is the easiest way to find out what they want to do, um, because then you 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 have experience what they want to do by yourself trying to attack opponents so that's really helpful um and that's my or i can just dodge attack <laughs> oh you can just dodge attack but then you'll get parried by people <laughs> yeah, yeah um... i was about to say like dodge, dodge yeah dodge, like, obviously, obviously. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's my again two big, big bits of advice so yeah um 
player right, account. Well, thanks. No, no worries. I'm going to call it for me because I uh, have got to go. I need to have some dinner. Thank you very much, Normie and and Silver again for helping out with this and giving You're us all welcome. your info. Um, really good overviews there. Yeah. And you know, there's always as other coaches around. If you just you know ask us questions if you need any kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I will be heading off. You, uh, you know, welcome to stay and play or whatever. But I'm going now. So, so later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.